Everyone, uh, raise your hands if you've ever been interested in becoming an entrepreneur, maybe running your own business, or maybe you already run your own business. Great to see you guys. Look, maybe after my presentation, I might have motivated a few more of you to uh, maybe become an entrepreneur, live outside the box, uh, you know, do things a little against the grain, and, and maybe live life beyond the office cubicle. So uh, I'm going to figure out how to use this. So I spoke to Peter Crawley last night, and uh, he convinced me to uh, do a speech on new business, new rules, and, and game on. So the internet has changed the way uh, we do business. So who am I? My name's James Kitchener, and uh, I run a large online advertising firm called Jack Media. And I run it from my favorite place in the world, which is Byron Bay. Uh, also run a whole bunch of other companies. So I guess you could call me a serial entrepreneur. It hasn't always been like this, though. And uh, as a young kid, I never got an allowance. So uh, I was driven to um, off, go get a job or start making money somehow. So I started mowing lawns. And um, I did a flyer drop. So I went around all the letterboxes in the neighborhood and uh, got a whole bunch of clients really quickly. And uh, it happened so fast that I had to get some employees. And, and this was really weird for a 10-year-old. So I got some of my friends and I sent them off mowing lawns for me. And it was a great feeling. I was sitting at home, they were mowing lawns, and I was earning money. It was a passive income. It was only a couple of dollars here and there. They would mow a lawn. I would take 20% of the income and give 80% to them. But this was the start of my entrepreneurial journey. At school, my favorite subject was business studies. And upsettingly, they didn't really push us towards any entrepreneurial um, attitudes in life. I think everyone in all schools should really be pushed towards entrepreneurial studies. Entrepreneurs are the lifeblood of, of a lot of countries and business in general and the smaller business levels really pick those countries up. So I might have to go to my notes to see where I'm at. So, so basically I was encouraged to, to do the same thing as everybody else. Go through school, be a sheep, follow along, finish school, get a university degree, and uh, pop out as some professional, maybe an accountant, maybe a lawyer, maybe a merchant banker. So I did exactly that. I, I went to university and uh, became an accountant, got a, uh, a business degree, and I got a job at one of the big uh, accounting firms, and I was ready to start the rest of my life. So. I sat down in my cubicle and the excitement had worn off of wearing a suit every day to work and I kind of sat there and, can I do this for the next 40 years of my life? And the answer was a resounding no and I turned around and, and thought back to my entrepreneurial days mowing lawns. So luckily enough, I had a few friends who ran internet businesses and uh, their lifestyle was really appealing to me. They were, they were traveling the world, they were working when they wanted, in the time zones they wanted. And so I thought, okay, how do I get into this? I had to start researching myself. There was no internet course. There was no uh, university course. There was no TAFE course on how to become an internet entrepreneur. So I did, the only thing that was possible was jump on the internet and do research. I looked through blog articles. I uh, bought eBooks. I literally printed and collated thousands and thousands of pages off the internet into a big binder. And I read them every day to and from work I had a 40 minute train ride to and from work and I just started learning. Within six months and a lot of hard work, I had my first website and I was earning enough to quit my job. Bang, I walked out the door. And I've never looked back to be honest. I've been, never had a, well, I haven't had a job for the last eight years and I've been completely self-employed. So as soon as I started earning money from the internet, I realized I could live anywhere. I could live and work anywhere in the world. So since then I've worked from Mexico, California, multiple ski resorts in Canada, which my favorite sport is snowboarding, uh, the French Riviera. Uh, I've worked from tropical islands in uh, Thailand and literally hundreds of other backpacking hostels around the world. So look, that, that's enough about me. Um, I want to jump in and, and just go through really quickly because I know we're short on time here. The, the rules have changed in business because of the internet. Um, the internet is evolving fast and everyone and, and how we communicate is changing. So let's just jump into it straight now. Rule number one. Basically, you can work anywhere in the world. Our team is in the Philippines, in Canada, in India, in Australia, in New Zealand. We all collate together with tools like Skype. Basically, you don't have to be in the one city anymore. You don't have to be in the one country. So 
keep your mind open when you're looking at opportunities. Inspiration is perishable. Now, this is quite obvious, but motivation comes in ebbs and flows. You have to use it whilst you've got it. If a motivation or an inspiration kind of lacks, it's really hard to get that back. So always use your motivation whilst you have it. Time is no excuse. Now, this is a big one, guys. Most people will sit back and go, oh, I didn't have time. To be honest, it's just an excuse for them and they're never going to get over there. Like, you can make hours in the week. Maybe take home and away out of your daily schedule. All of a sudden, bang, you've got an extra three hours a week. Go to sleep. Now, hopefully you guys aren't going to sleep down here, but I understand that most people here wouldn't have a problem going to sleep. It's probably waking up is going to be the problem. But if you don't get your sleep, and I know there's a lot of workaholics out there that like to brag about not getting uh, any sleep or having all-nighters, but you just become irritable and you really get a lack of creativity. So make sure you all get enough sleep. Workaholism. Um, workaholics are definitely not the heroes. Efficiency is the hero. So basically, the person who's finished their job, they've already done it because they're fast, they're on top of their game, they're already at home and they're enjoying their life, okay? So always think of the fastest ways to get things done and the best ways. Learn to say no. Um, this is an interesting one. Um, people come up and used to ask me favours all the time. And I didn't want to upset them, so I said yes. Uh, at the end of the day, I was spending more time on their problems and solving their problems and not worrying about my priorities. So as soon as I learned to say no, I had more time to focus on my priorities and really get my business off the ground. Be a curator. An amazing museum creator really knows how to thin things down. They don't grab every single piece of art in the world and put it in one room. They really know that less is always more. Put everyone on the front lines. So customer feedback is the best way to improve your business. The people at the back of the house never get this information. So everybody in your business should always be dealing with the customer feedback as the simplest way to improve any business. Send people home at five. I love this one because when I was working as an accountant, I was walking out at five o'clock on the dot because that's when I thought my, my shift finished. But apparently not. Everyone would be looking at me, whispering, why is he leaving so early? Uh, it's a bit of a joke, but bosses out there like the people who stay the longest. Little do they know that the people who have lives, have a family to get home to, or have a sport or a hobby to get to, are actually more productive in the hours there are a lot of that work. ASAP is poison. This is another one that I hate. People putting as soon as possible at the bottom of every email. As soon as you put this on every email, it takes away the priority of it. You can't justify putting things in different orders when everything is, needs to be done as soon as possible. Save your as soon as possibles for absolute emergencies and don't be the boy who cried wolf. So hopefully I've motivated you all a little more to uh, become an entrepreneur, to live life a little against the grain, to get out there and, and, and go beyond. I know a lot of you are all into technology and you've probably all got some great ideas for some apps or online business. My best advice is get out there, use your idea, use your inspiration, don't be afraid. Uh, I, I want to leave you with a, a quote from Confucius and it's one of my favourites. It's, choose a job you like and you'll never have to work a day in your life. I really hope you've uh, enjoyed my time here and uh, good luck in your futures and hopefully you can join me in becoming an entrepreneur.